Welcome. Uh, this is lecture 19. We look at spectrum of a ring, irreducible components of spectrum. How, uh, and we will also look at a uh, couple of examples in, in Macaulay. Okay. So, recall we defined the set of prime ideals And we can also define what is called the max spec of R, which is a set of maximal ideals. Okay. And uh, this is in, I mean, this is a subset of. Every maximal ideal is a prime ideal. We would like to give a topology to spec R, and whenever we talk about a topology of max spec, we mean the induced uh, subspa uh, subspace topology. Okay. So, so this is called Zariski topology on So there is, there will be a little abuse of uh, terminology or notation now. Okay. We will write for an R ideal, R ideal uh, I, we will write V of I. So this is an arbitrary ring. It has, it is not, the points don't look like uh, points of Kn or anything. Okay. So this is not an al over algebraically closed. No such restrictions on the ring, just a commutative ring. But we will st still use the same notation to mean something which is slightly different. This is the prime ideals in, in R such that P contains I. I mean, in, in some sense, this definition is analogous to the definition uh, of what we had VI in the case of polynomial ring over a field, uh, which is that V of I would be the points uh, at which elements of I vanish. Points correspond to maximal ideals in a way by Nushtal and Zatz that we saw. So therefore, there it would just say, it would, the description that we gave there or the definition that we gave there would be equivalent to saying V of I is the maximal ideals that contain I. But that is not exactly enough for us to work in this, in this generality. So we need to define V of I to be the subset of spec R with this property. And we can get an induced subspace topology or we can take V of I intersect max spec and, and then talk about uh, 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 max spec uh, 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 restrict ourselves to the earlier situation. Okay. So we can define, a, so this is, this is just a definition. We, we define V of I to be this. Uh, so define the closed sets of the topology. Okay, so this is important. We are defining the closed sets now to be the subsets of the form V of I, where I is any ideal. So this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, these are the closed sets. Okay. Now we need to check that uh, this is uh, this is fine. So that will be an exercise that if you look at the collection of V of I, okay, can be the closed sets of a I mean can satisfy satisfies. the definition of a topology using closed sets. Okay. 
So uh, this is check. This is an exercise. Just, uh, uh, I, I will explain it, uh, exercise what, what we have to be checked. So the key point is that if you take the unit ideal, this is empty. If you take the zero ideal, this is all of spec R. And then if you intersect V of I, if you take V of I, union V of J, V of what is it? And if you intersect a family, what is, uh, what are we doing? Uh, if, you if you take intersection of a family of, uh, uh, of closed sets, how does it happen on the ideals? So these we will discuss in the exercises. And then we will show that this is indeed a topology on uh, spec R. Okay? This is called the Zariski topology. Topology on spec R. Okay. Now, uh, one uh, observation that we would like to make is that uh, for I inside R, the set VI is same as the set spec of R mod I. So in other words, there is a map, therefore, spec of spec of R mod I injects into spec of R as a closed set. The image is a closed set of spec of R okay, for every ideal I. We will discuss more properties about spectrum. Uh, in the uh, in the exercises, we will see some specific open subsets uh, in this uh, uh, in, in the setup, etc. Uh, okay, so that that I postpone the exercise. What I want to do is to motivate the discussion towards studying primary decomposition and associative primes. So, what we are trying to understand is the topology in topology there uh, for topological spaces. There is a notion called irreducibility. And the idea of primary decomposition and uh, primary decomposition generalizes that to, I mean, puts that in the context of Zariski topology, but one has to worry a little bit more than just irreducible components. And this will become clear in the next few lectures. But for now, let's discuss irreducibility. Okay. So a topological space definition. Uh, a topological space X is irreducible if it cannot be written as the union of two proper closed sets. Okay. So this is not something that we come across a lot in uh, when we study in a basic topology course, uh, because uh, most of the spaces are don't fit this description. So this is not a question that we would typically worry about in, in, in a, uh, let's say, an undergraduate course in topology. But here, this is a crucial point. I mean, this is an important point for, for spec or and late, uh, also for varieties that uh, we were discussing in earlier lectures. Okay, so now we would like to understand the following question. For what rings A, For what rings R is spec R 
irreducible. Okay, so, this is one, one case that we would like to understand. And in general, if spec R is not irreducible, what are its irreducible components? So this is what uh, what we want to uh, to understand. So we we need a small observation to understand these questions. We need a small observation in any ring. So we want a small observation here. In every ring, in any, in every ring R, the set of minim, the set of primes have minimal elements. What does that mean? For every prime Q, so there. That is, okay, that is, there exists a subset S inside spec R such that for every P in spec R, there exists some Q inside S such that P contains Q. That's what we mean by minimal elements. Okay. The proof is not very difficult. It uses Zorn's lemma. So what is the point that we would need to do? So we order the set of, set of prime ideals by reverse inclusion. So we say that P is less than Q if P contains Q, less than or equal to Q if P contains Q. So this is not the typical way we order, but this for the sake of, for this proof, let's order like this. And then observe that, uh, so let's say that P1, P, P1 less than or equal to P2, less than or equal to P3, less than or equal, this is a chain. So in other words, what does it mean? It means P1 contains P2, contains P3, and so on. So this less than or equal to symbol is containment in the other direction. Okay. Now we intersect them. Okay. So let's we want to show that this is a prime. Okay. So then so so let's a, B, B inside intersection of PI, A not inside intersection of PI. Okay. So then this, uh, this A is not inside the intersection of PI. So this means that there exists some J such that A is not inside PJ, that's why it but this is a descending family, so this implies that A is not inside P K for all K less than or equal to J, the same J here. Okay. So, but these are prime ideals, so now this implies that B is inside P K for all uh, K greater than or equal to B equal to J, and that means that B is in the intersection. It's a descending family, so once it is there, all the all but finitely many, it must be there in the intersection. Okay. So this is the proof of the claim and the proof that, okay. so, the cl so this proves the claim. Claim and what we just, uh, 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 what we just argued is that every chain 
in this collection in the poster that we are considering uh, has uh, uh, as an upper bound therefore by Zorn's lemma there are maximal elements and this is what uh, we want I mean maximal element in, by reverse inclusion so this is by reverse inclusion So, which, which really means minimal elements. Okay. So, this is the proof of this, uh, this observation that there are, uh, 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 there are max minimal elements and yeah. So, now we can uh, write the proposition. Uh, Spec R is the union of VP, P in min R. So this, this is the notation for the minimal primes, the set of minimal primes of R. Okay. So uh, union of, oh, of v of p uh, as p runs over all the minimal primes is uh, the irreducible decomposition of of spec r okay so we need to do one thing spec r is indeed the union and that these are irreducible that's what we would need to do proof. Let Q be inside spec R. Okay. Then there exists a minimal prime such that P, a minimal prime P such that P is inside Q. This implies that Q is inside VP, which proves that spec R is the union of VP as P inside min R. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this is the the fact that it is a U. Uh, notice that the right side VP is inside spec R, so the union is always in the right side what we need to prove is the other direction which we uh, prove like this. Uh, this is the proof. Okay. So, we, we now need to show that Vp is irreducible. Okay. So, Vp is a subset of, uh, of uh, spec R and its topology is the induced topology. So, notice that Vp is same as spec. The, the subspace topology of Vp is same as spec R mod P. Okay. So, replacing R by R mod P okay, we want to show that uh, we, we assume that that R is a domain and we want to show that uh, spec R is irreducible. Okay. So, that's, that's okay. So, uh, suppose I and J are ideals. R such that uh, spec R, so R is a domain that we have reduced to that case, V of I union V of J. 
Okay, so this is what we mean by uh, union of two closed to two uh, closed sets. So now this means that the prime ideal zero, so without loss of generality, the prime ideal zero. Is, uh, uh, is in V of i. The prime ideal 0 is a point here. It must be in one of these subsets, so it must be in V of i. But what does that mean? That means that i is contained inside the prime ideal 0. In other words, i is 0. But that would mean that V of i is spec of r itself. Therefore, that the decomposition that we saw here is not, uh, uh, this is not, uh, this is redundant. Already the right, this itself is spec R. This doesn't do anything, okay? So this is, the point here is that this is redundant. Okay? So this uh, now means that, uh, yeah, uh, V of i union V of j is a redundant irreducible decomposition. I mean, this is not doing anything. Okay, of spec r. Okay, in other words, uh, okay, so so spec r is, is irreducible. So this is a brief discussion about irreducible components. And we will now try to see, and this is the other the point, uh, is that the spec R is the union of the V of P as P runs over the minimal primes. So we will try to take some, uh, so we'll now do uh, uh, an example in Macaulay. Uh, so, uh, Uh, here, uh, okay, again, let's just let me ignore this part altogether. Okay. And this, is, this is the uh, the uh, uh, input line, first input line. So this offset code is the in, uh, the uh, input uh, code. R is this polynomial ring. Then we give this ideal to uh, to Macaulay. So it says uh, uh, so this is, the, this is uh, we we saw such an example earlier. We can put it like a string without the exponents and uh, thing, provided the variables don't have subscripts. Okay, so this is just x times y, y times z, and z times x. So we have this ideal. Then we ask for this, we use this thing called minimal primes i. It will produce the primes over i, primes containing i that are minimal with that property. Okay, so in the proposition we proved, we, the proposition that we proved says that spec of r mod i has minimal primes, uh, or in other words, V of i has minimal primes, but it doesn't tell us that it is a finite. The proposition did, did not say it is finite, but and it's not true in general. It may not be true in general, but here we are working with Noetherian rings, and there we will prove that the set of minimal primes is finite. We will prove in the course in the course of the next few lectures. Okay, so it just gives us a list of the primes that are minimal over this, and it is. Okay, so you, it is an exercise to, for you to show by hand that these primes indeed contain this. These are indeed minimal primes. And in fact, I is the intersection of these three primes. Okay. And how does, uh, so the question is, how does one use minimal primes? So whenever you are in doubt, check the help command for minimal help or the methods. Okay, maybe start with help or use also methods. For, you can figure this out. Now let's try to do this for the quotient ring. Let's write R mod S to be S as R mod I. And then we ask for the minimal prime primes of the ideal generated by zero of S. So we need, if you put zero, it will think of as an integer. That's not what we want. We want it to think of it as a zero of S. So we write zero subscript S, zero underscore S. And so minimal primes we ask. And then it produces the same list, but but it knows that it is, these are not elements of R, these are elements of S. So we can ask that question, uh, which rings, 
uh, do these belong to? So again, uh, as I said, this is not relevant uh, for the thing. That's not part of the code. The code is only these lines, the, the offset lines. Okay, and uh, we get, so we, we run this command called OO. OO is the previous output, which is this list. Now, we've seen this command called select, which selects elements of a list according to whether it satisfies some true or false condition. So here, this is not, this, what this does is to apply this function to the elements of this list. So this is a function which takes some i to ring of i. So in this case, i is an ideal and ring of an ideal tells you what is the ambient ring in which that ideal is defined. And here it shows that these three things are ideals of s which is what we had expected. So this is the end of this, uh, uh, this lecture. And uh, in the next few lectures, we will look at, uh, we will look more at uh, the idea of associated primes and uh, primary decomposition.